Today I'm gonna show this coil over here. Uh, this coil uh, I showed it yesterday. It was taped yellow. I taped it now blue. It's uh, basically the same coil as this one. Uh, the way it is rounded, only the size is different. I'm rounded the system now on 29 volts at uh, 1.2 amps uh, I'm gonna do only the DC load one uh, 0.6 watt 1.2 watt a 5 watt and fill the capacitor and also gonna short it let me check the RPM you see where it's at now RPM is now 1946. Hope you guys can see that. Yeah. Gonna write it down. 1946. Now I'm gonna connect the 0 0.6 watt load. is on now the voltage is now 10.1 uh, but it will drop I think below yes below 10 volts it's around 120 milliamps system is slowing down the, the RPM is now 1878 and decreasing so we're gonna give it a little bit more time what I can already see the difference between this coil and this coil over here is the output the output is much higher because uh, if you've seen the previous video the one from yesterday uh, there uh, the output was a little bit lower So you'll see how it goes. RPM is now 1860. 59, so it's still decreasing a little bit. Let's give it some more time. The output is now 9.7 at yeah, just below 120, let's say 110. 9.7 at 110 milliamps. Let me check the RPM again. Eighteen hundred and fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-five. So it's almost there, it's still dropping a little bit. So I'm gonna start right here, 8350 something. Eighteen hundred and fifty-five, fifty-four. <laughs> it's all over the place. Eighteen hundred and fifty-three. 52 yeah I'm gonna write a 352 now I'm gonna engage the other 0 0.6 watt load so in total I have now a 1.2 watt load the output from that is a uh, 4.6 at yeah let's say 160 milliamps 4.6 at 160 million let's see what the RPM is doing is it decreasing even more or has it increased a little bit it has increased a little bit it's 861 now 
1860 something gonna give it a little bit more time and 61 62 yeah we're gonna put 861 now I'm gonna connect the 5 at load unplug it here put the 5 at load over there put it back on here and the 5 at load is yeah just a little bit light Oh, voltage is 3.4 at yeah 100 and yeah 70, 80, let's say 70 milliamps. 3.4 at no, it's 180, 180 milliamps. Let's check the RPM. What that is doing now. RPM is now 1873, 72. Yeah, 18 on the end. 1871 1871 now I'm gonna short the DC completely it is shorted you can see it over here until now the same as yesterday in the previous video on these coils the 0 0.6 watt load gives me the more uh, load on the system the maximum load on the system but that also gives me the maximum output as you can see over here so uh, there is a pattern to be seen there which is more than normal I'm going to measure now the RPM the coil is shorted on the DC side RPM is now 1889 pretty stable there just going for 1890 so gonna write here 1890 so again with this coil shorting it doesn't give me the maximum load because the rpm is now 1890 and with the 0 0.6 load rpm was 1852 gonna unplug it here gonna connect the capacitor I'm gonna fill that, put it back here. It is starting off at 180 milliamps and dropping because the fuller the capacitor gets, the less milliamp draw it draws from the coil. Let's check what the RPM is doing. RPM is saying now 8377, 75, 74, 72. It's decreasing, so let's give it some time. The voltage in the capacitor is also climbing, so uh, let's give it some time. When the coil was open, I had 1946 RPM. Max loaded, it was uh, 1852 minus 1852 is a drop of 49 RPM. So when this coil is max loaded, I have 494 RPM less. So it is slightly more than yesterday with this coil over here uh, just a few rpm more but the output now is 9.7 at 110 milliamps 
is 1 watt 1 watt and yesterday I had 0 0.9 watt so it's not bad I think it's going in the right direction or maybe I'm just fooling myself that is always possible the RPM at this moment is now with the capacitor 855 54, 55 voltage in the capacitor is now 18.6 at 60 milliamps let's check the RPM again Eighteen four, sorry, eighteen fifty four or fifty three. Let's wait for it. Eighteen fifty four. This kind of steady at that number. Eighteen fifty four. Okay. Let's see if I can if I can use this power over here. And of course I can use it. Gonna connect the capacitor to the 5 watt load over here. And here it goes. Uh, capacitor is dropping and the light of course is nicely lit. Dropping. It is not below 10 faults so yeah it's usable which is also more than normal gonna unplug it here now I'm gonna remove the coil completely so we can also measure that RPM screaming sound it was making it's also down now when I remove it as you can see it is an air core you can see nothing in there when I put it you get a nice screaming sound I'm gonna take it away we're gonna let it now speed up pulley ratios are still the same I was going to change them but uh, I decided not to do that because I really don't want to um, damage this rotor over here so I'm gonna keep playing with RPM like it is now and try to make it work with RPM around 2000 or just below it let's check the RPM now RPM is now 1960 or 61 we're gonna give it some more time 1960 something the RPM with the coil in place was 1946 so it is, it is around just a few RPM more without the coil It is now 1967, 68. Let's give it some more time to recover completely. Input is still, yeah, still the, nearly the same, roughly the same. 1.2 amps input at 28.9. So it's basically around 35 watts input which is not bad for such a huge uh, apparatus okay let's check the RPM again should be pretty stable by now nineteen hundred and seventy seventy one it is stable. we're gonna go for nineteen hundred and seventy one nineteen hundred and seventy one so the difference between the coil in place and no coil in place is uh, 
1971 minus 1946 is is 25 rpm difference 25 no coil in place gave me 25 rpm more so it's not that bad the difference between coil in place or not in place is not that bad I'm gonna shut it down And of course, it will keep spinning as always. Um, this coil here, this one was blue yesterday. I retaped it a little bit. This coil, I'm gonna make a video, maybe later on or tomorrow. It's a basic a bobbin of wire you can buy online. Uh, I'm gonna do a test with it with a ferrite core and also with. Uh, let me get the other stuff. And also with uh, one of these. This is uh, not any uh, core. This is Alloy 50. Just look it up and you will see what it is. It's pretty expensive. Especially when you buy a lot of them like I did. Good thing about this core you will see uh, with this core I can make this simple coil speed up on a load pretty easily not even have to uh, adjust it or um, do something with it just buy it stick it in and it uh, speed up the system but the problem is this core has such a high permeability that it absolutely loves the magnetic flux coming from those magnets on the rotor which in case um, uses a lot of input power but then again I can drive it on a low RPM so yeah what I'm trying to do is just find a good balance you know input output and take it from there I will have this video over here and maybe tomorrow also or a day then and uh, after that one so so basically this coil over here this one which is the same wound as this one only the size is different you can see it over here yeah the um, performance is not bad at all output is good the rpm which uh, by it decreases when its max load is 40 is 94 so it's not bad at all maybe I should go higher but I don't have good rotors at this moment to go too much higher anyway uh, do I need to say something oh yeah this coil here which I bought online is just a single wire uh, bobbin of coil and to tell you the truth all my other coils which are my own design or all are one strand wire one coil one wire only but still you can wound it in different configurations because for the simple fact even though you have one wire the amount of ways you can wound your coils and this one also four coils all one strand all different wound uh, configuration because there is endless way you can wound a coil with one wire just think about it think about it you will see absolutely endless way you can wire a coil with one wire which is a pain of course if you want to test all of them anyway now I hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching